Hey there, this is MathCamp321 presenting the solution to question number 10 from the Park Algebra 2 practice test, school year 2014-2015. This question states that the expression x squared times x minus y quantity cubed minus y squared times the quantity x minus y quantity cubed can be written in this other form, which I'm not going to read, uh, where a is constant. What is the value of a? So my initial reaction when I look at this problem is that what they're giving me appears to be, to me, an intermediate step of a factoring by grouping question. Now factoring by grouping would be applied if you're given an expression that has four or more terms and then you collect terms together in such a way that you can continue factoring. So this looks like not the beginning of that type of problem because I don't see four terms here, but it looks like, like I said earlier, an intermediate step. So I'm going to think of this first chunk over here to the left as chunk A, and I'm going to think of this over here as B. So my next thought is that I want to see if there's something that I could take out from both A and B, which will just facilitate the whole factoring. And if I look at A and I look at B and I ask myself, is there something that I could take out? I see that there is something common to both of those terms. And what's common is the quantity x minus y cubed. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out and write it off to the side. Now the phrase to take out means to divide by. So once we take out this chunk x minus y cubed, what I'm really doing is I'm dividing each of the a and b by x minus y quantity cubed. And this is going to help me discover what's left over when I do that division. So when I take it out of A, I'm left with just x squared. And when I take this chunk out of B, I'm left with minus y squared. Now, this result here that I just came upon is, can be factored further as a difference of two squares, x minus y, x plus y. So I'm going to go ahead and do some rewrites here. This first term I'm not going to do anything to. I'm just going to rewrite it. So that's going to become x minus y cubed. And then this is going to factor as a difference of two squares, which I said earlier. And it's going to turn into x minus y, x plus y. And now I notice that these two chunks are the same, except that they have different exponents. This guy here is an exponent of 3. And this chunk here has an exponent of 1. Although we don't see a 1, it's, a, it's an implied 1. And there's a rule of exponents that says if you're multiplying powers of the same base, you're going to retain the base and add the exponents. So I'm going to retain the base of x minus y. And I'm going to add the exponents. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then I'm just left over with this x plus y, which I'm just going to rewrite. Now, I'm going to stop here. And the reason I'm going to stop here is because I've, I've kept my eye on the target here, where I'm trying to go with this problem. And I'm going to put a box in the top. They want us to make our answer look like what they have in this template here. So if I look at the template in the box in the top, and I look at what I've come upon down here, they look almost the same. And the question says, what is the value of a? Well, a is the exponent or the power of the expression x minus y. So if I look down here and I look at the power of x minus y, we see that the number is 4. So my conclusion is that a is equal to 4. And that's the answer to this question.